Morning, folks. I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School back out here at the Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen. Pouring down rain today. I thought what we'd do is we would put some charcoal briquettes on our stand over here, get them lit up and heated up, talk a little about using briquettes for cooking with camp ovens and Dutch ovens. And we we'll use a small Dutch oven here from Petromax, and we're going to make a really nice raspberry and cinnamon cobbler today. I'm excited. Stay with me, guys. So the first thing we want to do is we want to just wipe our Dutch oven out to make sure there's no residue in there. Then we're going to take a stick of butter here. Get this dude opened up. And we're just going to coat the inside of this camp oven really, really well with butter. So the entire bottom and the sides, we're just going to put a good coating of butter on there. That's just going to help things keep from sticking while we're cooking. Once we do that, then we can start to get our ingredients in to the Dutch oven. And once we've done that, we can start to add ingredients to the camp oven. We're making a smaller batch here, so we're going to go with a half cup of self-rising flour. We're going to put in a half a cup of sugar, one half cup of milk, and then just a small dibble of Watkins baking vanilla. Once we get that done, we're going to whisk all of that together into a batter. Okay, the last ingredient we're going to put in here is a quarter stick of melted butter. Almost didn't get that piece melted. Stir that around really good in there. And we'll be ready to get this together with our Dutch oven and our fruit and make our cobbler. Okay, so we're going to take our camp oven, put our raspberries in the bottom. Just kind of spread them out flat. As long as we got enough to cover the bottom, we got enough. And then we're going to take our batter. We're going to cover this up. Down there. To give us a little bit of height. Just like that. Okay, so we're about 15 minutes in here. And I've decided from looking at this that I'm not getting enough heat. And I put my hand in the oven, and I don't feel like I'm getting enough heat either. So I'm going to just go ahead and use the legs on the bottom of the camp oven here. Spread my coals out flat for the time being. And set this right in the coal. And then monitor that for a few minutes and see what that does. Okay guys, real quick while we're finishing up this cobbler, I want to give you a quick tip or trick. I made that batter from scratch and I did that for multiple reasons. Number one, to show you how to make that batter from scratch, but number two, because we used a fresh fruit. It wasn't a canned fruit. If you're gonna do this in camp and you're car camping or something like that, you're doing it for your kids for a dessert, you know, around tent camping and things like that, it's very easy to buy canned fruits. It can be peaches, apples, doesn't matter what it is. It can even be fruit cocktail for that matter. But that syrup gives you the liquid. And then you can just take some kind of a pre-made cake mix, like a yellow cake mix. And you can pour that fruit and the liquid from that fruit in one can. And then if you're going to make a big, a big cobbler, you can pour another can of fruit in there, but don't pour the liquid in. So that one can gives you enough liquid for that cake mix. Then you can just sprinkle that cake mix on the top of that Dutch oven or camp oven and cook it that way. Again, the reason we made that batter from scratch today was because we didn't have liquid in our fruit because it was fresh fruit. So there's a couple different ways you can go about this. One of them is kind of quick and dirty. 
and one of them is a little bit more involved like we did today. So I hope you're enjoying this video so far. Let's go check on our cobbler. Okay, we're looking real good. About time to get some coals on the top now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this out of the way. And we're going to grab coals that we already have down here. We're gonna put the coals on the top. Try to get the heat even across the top of that oven. Spread these out a little bit. We don't need as much heat on the bottom now. Now we're going to take this and we're going to kind of rotate it a little bit. Just like that. Put it back over the coals we have laying there. Okay. We're down to about 10 minutes left on this thing. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick this lid up. And we're going to rotate the lid and we're going to add cinnamon sugar at the same time. So we're going to pick this up, hopefully. Just like this. All right, guys, there's really nothing left but the taste test. We've got a moxie elixir here. <laughs> got a root beer cola flavor to it. Never had one of these before. It's really, really good. It's going to go good with this raspberry cobbler for sure. So, oh, man. Woo man, them things got some tang to them. They are so good. Golly. Mmm, 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 mmm. Man, that's good. Holy cow. Woo! Mmm. Amazing combo. Really easy recipe. Not difficult to cook. Over a campfire or coals, really. Just gotta watch the heat. That thing is picture perfect. I love it. Guys, I appreciate you joining me today for this video on how to make a raspberry cobbler in a Dutch oven. I appreciate your views and I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. I appreciate your views. I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.